Well, Brisbane was in lockdown at the start of the week, but it is right to host A-League action again tonight as the Wanderers come calling to take on the Raw. What are you making of the position Kamau is taking up? We're so used to seeing him be a flyer down yeah, either down. flank. Yeah, I think, I mean, well, he certainly started well centrally. As we know of his abilities in on the flanks, particularly on that right-hand side. Here he is, linking up with Bacchus. And teeing it up for Yaboa, who returns to Brisbane and scores the opening goal less than 12 minutes in. It all started in this city, in the A-League as a teenager. And he's back striking for Western Sydney. Got the speed of Danzaki and Mabratu. Trying to turn Western Sydney around, but it's been a, an assured return from Mutakutis, who gives great balance to the team with these two left-footers. And Wilmering plays in Kamau, who tried to go near post. It was going wide. Young still made the save. Well, brilliant run, but the finish doesn't match the run. And he's trying to open himself up. Should have taken it on his left. Carl Robinson expected a response from his team tonight, and he's gotten one. Just moments away from taking a lead to halftime. Yeah, I think he'd be yeah, in a hurry to get to halftime because I think he'd be happy with the last 25 minutes from his side. They're going to have to improve in the second half. Hingert with a determined run, and the header was looping. Margush was worried. And Mabrata couldn't quite fashion the equaliser. No, looping header, like you said, it's slightly behind him. He's done well. Marcus was certainly concerned. Champness. With that blinding speed, got away from Dorans. What a move inside. Joey Champness! Marcus makes a super save. That was going to be one of the solo goals of the A-League season so far. He'd done all the hard work. And he should have taken the keeper out of the equation. Duke with the hold-up play this time. Such a good outlet for Western Sydney to try and turn Brisbane around and get some territory of their own. Great tidy win from Courtney Perkins. And here he goes again. He's leaving defenders for dead tonight. Joey Chantness getting away from Bacchus. Still going Chantness. Teeing up Danzaki. And Brisbane equalise. Riku Danzaki makes it 1-1. But what about the performance of Joey Chantness tonight? He's been untouchable. Unstoppable. And it's a tidy finish. Keeps his composure, Danzaki. What a transition. They're defending close to their own penalty box. A really good challenge. Clean take. That is a brilliant Brisbane goal. Good win again. And there's space in the middle. Chandness turns provider again. Margush keeps it out. And where would Western Sydney be without their 23-year-old shot stopper? Well, they'd be down 2-1 right now. A big mistake. Perfect ball for Mabratu. Whipped in by Dorans and a header across the face of goal from Tass Mutakutis. And flashed across the face and there were white shirts there as well. Oh, flashes past that far post. You know, both sides have had, you know, periods of dominance in respect to possession, but really, apart from that wonderful start to the second half, which was all Joey Champness, it's been very, very even. Nikolai Muller. Abini inside the area and then out. And Troisi in an offside position was struck. And that should just about do us. Plenty of intel gained for the return bout between these clubs in 13 days' time. But tonight, it finishes all locked up. Scott McDonald tried to make a difference off the bench. But in the end, they settle for a point apiece. Brisbane now winless in eight. And the Wanderers looking to regroup ahead of that Mariners bout on Tuesday night. Full time here, 1-1.